Feeling a bit under the weather? Or are you fighting the common cold and fever? The most common advice you'll receive when you are sick is to rest a lot and keep yourself hydrated. We certainly wish we had our moms with us forever to take care of us when we aren't feeling well. But unfortunately, life goes on, and we have to step up to look after ourselves. In case you're wondering what to eat to feel better, we are here to help. In today's video, we'll be talking about comfort foods you can eat when you're sick. From salmon to garlic, we'll be discussing several health-boosting foods. Stay tuned and watch until the end. One, salmon. Surprised to see salmon on our list? I am sure it's not the first thing that comes to mind when you're sick but it is one of the best sources of protein you'll need when recovering from sickness. The good thing is that salmon is soft and can be eaten easily. The high quality protein you get from salmon gives you the strength you need when you're not feeling well. That's not all. Salmon also boosts your immunity thanks to the all important omega-3 fatty acids it gives you. These fatty acids have anti-inflammatory properties, which safeguard you from chronic diseases. Another reason why you should add salmon to your diet while recovering from sickness is that it gives you vitamin D. Most people don't get enough vitamin D from their daily diet, even though it is vital to keeping their immune systems kicking. A simple salmon salad is delightfully delicious and amazingly healthy. Two, chicken soup. Remember the good old days when your mom would get you a bowl of hot chicken soup when you got a cold? There's a reason chicken soup is the go-to comfort food for our moms and grandmothers. They know chicken soup can warm your soul. Wondering what makes chicken soup so popular? First of all, it is packed with fluids and electrolytes. When you are down with a fever, you are likely to experience dehydration. Chicken soup helps make sure that doesn't happen. That's not all. Chicken has a special amino acid called cysteine. It helps break down mucus, which gives you relief from a stuffy nose and congestion. Cysteine also has antiviral and anti-inflammatory properties. You should ideally eat chicken soup while it is warm. The warmth from the soup can help get rid of any congestion you may be experiencing. Even the spiciness of the soup can help get rid of congestion. Three, garlic. Garlic doesn't go with every food. But if you are ill, you must find a way to include this health-boosting ingredient in your cooking. Garlic has been a part of traditional medicine for many centuries due to the several health benefits it offers. This pungent food is also capable of helping you feel better when you're down with the flu. Research also supports the claim about the healing effects of garlic. A study was conducted among nearly 150 people. Group A was given a garlic-based supplement and Group B was given a placebo. It was observed that Group A had 70% fewer sick days compared to Group B. The good thing about garlic is that you can easily add it to your food as part of the recipe. It would not only add flavor to the dish, but also help find relief from the common cold. Looking for answers on all the latest health and wellness news? Hit that subscribe button and join our millions of followers. Stay up to date on all our Great Bestie content. Four, tea. Who isn't ready for a cup of tea when feeling down? Honestly, I cannot think of saying no to well-brewed tea, like ever. Several cultures favor drinking tea every day, swearing by its restorative effects. It is especially good for you when you are fighting the flu, as hot tea acts as a decongestant. Of course, you will need to make sure the tea is not so hot that it will irritate your throat. Experts believe tea does not cause dehydration, even though it has caffeine. This means you can drink this healing beverage multiple times a day without worrying about water loss. Tea is also packed with polyphenols. They have several health benefits, including their anti-inflammatory properties, which will help keep illnesses like fever and cold away. Five, spicy foods. It may sound insane to you when I say spicy foods can help you feel better if you are fighting the flu. But believe me, spicy food can really make a difference. When you make spicy food, you are likely to use chili peppers. They contain capsaicin, which gives them their characteristic spicy taste and the burning sensation you get when you eat them. The same capsaicin that makes you grab a glass of water can actually help break down the mucus and allow your body to get rid of it easily. You'll be surprised to know there are nasal sprays that contain capsaicin just for this effect. 
Maybe the next time you are struggling with a blocked nose or congestion in your sinuses? Try eating something like spicy grilled salmon kebabs. You can also add spicy foods like ginger, radishes, horseradish, raw onions, and spicy mustard to your diet. But be careful with spicy food if you have an upset stomach. It can end up causing bloating. In some cases, spicy food can even cause nausea and diarrhea. Interested in knowing more about health-boosting spices? You can delve into the discussion by watching our video on 7 Herbs and Spices with the Most Powerful Health Benefits. 6. Yogurt When you make a list of healthy foods, yogurt is bound to make the cut. This is because yogurt contains probiotics. They are bacteria strains that improve your gut health and provide several overall health benefits. A study was conducted among children who were sick. It was seen that those who had probiotics recovered two days faster than those who did not. The participants who took the probiotics also experienced 55% less severity in their symptoms. Research has also shown that probiotics help both children and adults avoid catching colds. Probiotics like yogurt make sure you can heal faster from your illness. This means you can rely on probiotics to help you reduce your overdependence on antibiotics. But remember, yogurt and other probiotics are not a substitute for medicine. Always consult your doctor when you see no improvement in your cold. 7. Fruits An apple a day keeps the doctor away. But what if you are already sick? Can it help you get better quickly? Eating fruits is indeed beneficial for your health, as they are packed with antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals your body needs on a daily basis. The majority of fruits are also packed with fiber to keep your digestive system fit and healthy. But that's not all. There are fruits like berries that have anthocyanins, which are excellent for your recovery from illness. You can rely on them to boost your immune system thanks to their antiviral properties. Research has shown that fruit extracts rich in anthocyanins can help protect you from common viruses and bacteria. They stimulate your immune system to kick off infections. Fruits also contain flavonoids. Research has shown that people who took supplements made from fruit-based flavonoids found their sick days reduced by 40%. 8. Coconut Water Ever tried coconut water to quench your thirst and beat the summer heat? It's delicious and healthy! Along with hydration, coconut water can also help you get rid of your illness. Coconut water is packed with electrolytes. When you're running a fever, your body needs extra fluids to recover. Coconut water can be a great source of hydration, electrolytes, and even relief from nausea. You can also count on coconut water when you have diarrhea. Another positive thing about coconut water is that it comes with natural sugar. This would give you a quick and easy boost of energy when you're feeling down. 9. Honey Looking to eat something sweet when you aren't feeling well? Try honey. It might make you feel better instantly. Honey has often been used to add flavor to beverages and foods. So many people prefer honey over sugar in their tea and coffee. But it isn't just the taste that makes honey so popular. This golden liquid has amazing antibacterial properties. When you eat honey, it stimulates your body's immune system. Honey is often recommended for people who have seasonal allergies. Honey has been found to be helpful in reducing coughing in children. But please note, never ever give honey to children under the age of 12 months. 10. Oatmeal Do you like oatmeal? It can be quite bland to eat, but you have to find a way to enjoy it, as oatmeal is one of the best foods to eat when you were ill. It checks all the right boxes. Oatmeal is easy to make and has all the necessary calories, vitamins, and minerals you will need when you fall sick. And not just this, but oatmeal also has a special fiber called beta-glucan. Wondering what's so special about it? Beta-glucans are soluble fibers that stimulate the immune system. They do so by increasing infection-preventing chemicals in your body. A study was conducted on mice to see its effects. The results showed there was a decrease in inflammation in the gut due to the beta-glucan. When you do make oatmeal, it would be better to add honey instead of sugar. Not only does it reduce your sugar intake, but honey will also provide additional health benefits, like boosting your immunity. 11. Green Leafy Vegetables I do not need to introduce you to green leafy vegetables. Pick any food and nutrition magazine, and you'll definitely find at least one suggestion somewhere on including veggies in your daily diet. 
Spinach, kale, and romaine lettuce are all part of the health trend now. Instagram is filled with people making green smoothies to boost their health. You should also try eating more green leafy vegetables. They do pack a healthy punch, especially when you are ill. Green leafy vegetables are packed with vitamin C and K, along with folate. You also get a good amount of iron and fiber from these vegetables. All of these nutrients help speed your recovery process. Another reason why you should give green leafy veggies a try is because they are a good source of antioxidant polyphenols. This antioxidant helps keep inflammation at bay and makes sure your cells don't get damaged. Green leafy vegetables can be easily included in most dishes. For example, if you're making an omelet, add spinach to it to make it an antioxidant-rich meal. You can add most green leafy vegetables to all kinds of soups. There's no denying the fact that your diet plays a key role in your health. There are foods you can eat to get a stronger body, while others weaken it on the inside. Ready to keep the conversation going with a couple more videos on your diet and its impact on your immunity? Watch 7 Ways to Naturally Boost Your Immune System. You can also try our video on 9 Foods That Weaken Your Immune System. Go ahead, click one. Or better yet, watch both and learn more about health and immunity. Are you thinking about adding any of these foods to your daily diet? Let us know in the comments below.